Well, it's another day. Another day of daylight. For everybody who's seeing this, it's another day for you. Because these days ain't promised. These days are not to be taken for granted. And I want to spend just a couple seconds of really putting some positivity in the air. I think all my messages are positive. You might not like the way I deliver them, but all my messages are positive. All of them are meant for the betterment of black folks, for the betterment of all folks. Because see, people need to understand, if black folks is doing better, everybody's doing better. See, I don't be out here spewing no hate. I don't be spewing no bullshit trying to incite negativity. I open your mind, you might not like it, you might not agree with it, you may not acquiesce. But I don't spew negativity. But I wanna take a few seconds just to send my love to my family. We lost we lost a real one. We lost a real one, 826 this morning. You know, truthfully, she probably, she stopped breathing at 826 this morning, but she was really up out of here about two days ago, you know, when they really just started to put her into what they call comfort care. And TC is, to me, she was like a second mother to me because she was my father's best friend. As his cousin, she was my cousin, but she was like a second mother to me because she always came with the wisdom with me. And she, she treated me as well as she would treat one of her own children. She never, ever shunned me. She never, ever skirted me. She never, ever put me in a position to where I felt unwanted, unneeded. And she gone now, you know. And the only solace that I really take in this is that she's now back with my father. She's now back with her mother, with her father, with her brother. You know, with my grandmother, you know, she's back with them. You know, they gonna they gonna sit around and be able to be able to talk shit like they used to talk shit on Brown Street back in the day. You know, back on back on Brook Street back in the day, back on back on Gott Street back in the day. You know, they they back together. So it's a beautiful thing that they're all reunited. We're sad that she's gone from this place, but we now know she's in a better place. You know, she's she's not suffering no more. There's no more pain. There's no more bullshit that she's got to deal with with her health. So I definitely want to send that love out to Kelly, out to Rhonda, you know, and out to Pete, out to everybody in our family. This is, it's an inevitability. I get it. I have a fucked up situation dealing with death. I hate dealing with it. You know, and I hope nobody makes too much of a fuss over me when I expire. Just put me go, you know, just, 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 or let, let me go. Just let me go. I'm going to do everything I can while I'm here, which I don't need to be doing a whole bunch of bullshit once I'm gone. Just know that I tried once I was here. But yeah, I just want to, want to put that in the air, man. I ain't gonna never speak on a motherfucker that didn't mean nothing to me. I'm only gonna speak on people that mean shit to me. You know, and she she definitely meant something to me. Her name was Joelle. Cause she was she was definitely a diamond in our family. We called her TC. Much love, much respect. Rest in power, TC. But this is the Black Watch. I'm a black man and I watch it and the shit that I'm watching right now you know we had a we had a mandate put down here in Michigan like I said I know everybody ain't in Michigan but I I get you know <coughs> 12 15 motherfuckers watching my videos so wherever y'all at if y'all not in Michigan if y'all didn't get a mandate put down like this you know in a similar fashion by your governor then hopefully you're going to be taking heed to something that's going to be said soon by your president, your president-elect, I don't think Donald Trump's gonna say anything positive about COVID-19 for the rest of his days in the White House. But who should be talking is your president-elect, Joseph Biden. I don't see your little jokey shirts. Bye, Don. <laughs> well, I got one for you. Is Joe 
Biden his time? Because right now, this is some bullshit. He's not speaking up on the virus the way he needs to be speaking up on the virus. He should be taking the, the, the front step of this since Donald Trump won't do it. Donald Trump didn't do it. Why isn't Joe stepping up saying, look, we need y'all to mask up. Once the inauguration happens, I'll be in full power. But until that happens, I am president elect and this is the way we need to be. But you know why he's not gonna do that? Because they are doing that soft shoe democratic bullshit. See, I've learned through this whole process, Republicans are bullies by nature. Democrats are bitches by nature. And this is what I've learned. Democrats, they wanna be all kumbaya. They wanna be all tie dye and peace signs. And Republicans are like, fuck you. Confederate flag, bitch. You took one motherfucker who didn't, he wasn't even in politics in 2015, and you allowed him to become president. You allowed him to make the Confederate flag relevant again. You allowed him to make everything that made this country bad, good, and then use a slogan of make America great again, which only meant make America hate again. But now, we don't even want to flip that around. We don't even want to take that shit and say, you know what? We're going to get back at least to what we were at before Obama. Because the country got divided with Obama. I got it. The country didn't come together because Obama. The country got more divided. And then it got worse. It got worse with Donald Trump. But if Joe Biden doesn't make us do a 180 in this bitch, it's going to get worse. But that would mean Joe Biden's got to do a 180. Joe Biden has to do a 180 for this country to do a 180, and I don't see it happening. He's a 78-year-old man, and he has his beliefs. He's got his procedures. There's certain things that he has to do. As a 78-year-old man, you got to do consistent shit. He's got to be consistent in all his movements. He can't make no irregular movements. He old. Your shit gotta be set in stone the way you do things as a 78. You ain't gonna get out here just moving and shaking all willy-nilly at 78. No, you gotta have a schedule. And Joe's schedule is going to be status quo. What he's done for the last 47 years in politics. I don't care that he has black people on his staff. I don't care that he has a VP with melanin in her skin. Joe Biden still thinks the same way. If you don't think so, then you need to start doing the math. If Joe Biden thought that the 1994 crime bill was a mistake and they should have did something different, then Joe Biden wouldn't have went and got the catalyst to the 1994 crime bill to be his chief of staff. If Joe Biden thought the 1994 crime bill was a mistake, then Joe Biden wouldn't have eulogized Strom Thurmond. He wouldn't have eulogized that other motherfucker. What was his name? Fleming? KKK leaders. Staunch racist. Those were his mentors. Those were people who guided him along his political journey. And y'all think Joe Biden gonna change for y'all? Joe said, I want to thank you niggas for having my back once again. And I'll always have yours. Yeah, he'll have our back. He'll have our arms behind our back in bracelets. He ain't bit more sorry about the 1994 crime bill than a man on the moon. Shit. I mean, we just out here not understanding the math problems. These are math problems, and you got to solve them. Y'all was out there dancing in the street because he got elected? What did y'all win? What was y'all celebrating? I don't get it. Black people love to dance when ain't no music on. They love to dance when ain't nothing to celebrate. What y'all dancing for? A lot of people happy because Donald Trump ain't gonna be the president no more. I get it. 
But what black people happy for? What did y'all get with your vote? What did y'all get with your vote? You got your voted sticker. Y'all got your voted sticker. Y'all got that. I get it. But you ain't even concerned about your local politics and got the nerve to be concerned about who's the president of the United States. Yeah, I know. I say the same shit all over. I'm going to keep saying it until it fucking sinks into your heads. Joe trying to humanize himself. Went and got a dog from a shelter. He went and got a dog from a shelter. And they made that a news story. I guess he could have went and got a dog at Petco. He could have went and got a dog at PetSmart. He could have went and got a dog anywhere, but he went and got one from a shelter. Because he said their other dog was getting up in years. Well, nigga, everybody's getting up in years in your house. We don't need you going out getting a dog. What did Joe say before he left the house? I'm going to see a man about a dog, Jill. I'm going to see a man about a dog. Well, Joe, don't you think you should think about what you're going to do for the African-Americans since they voted you in? No, I'm going to check on a dog. Well, Joe, you said you would want to talk to Ice Cube after you got elected. Don't you think you'd want to see what his contract for black America is really about before the inauguration and then you can say we're going to implement some things there and we're going to talk more about reparations no I'm going to see a man about a dog Jill well Joe we wouldn't have got in had it not been for the blacks voting for us they didn't vote for you Joe because you got Kamala they didn't vote for you, Joe, because you got Simone Sanders. They didn't vote for you, Joe, because you had Jean-Pierre. The blacks voted for you because you went to South Carolina and Jimmy cooked up all that chicken, Joe. And all those South Carolina people, they ate up all the chicken. They ate up all the collard greens. They ate up all the macaroni and cheese. They ate up all the butter biscuits, Joe. And then you looked at him and said, you know me, and I know you, and I can be your president. And Jimmy Clyburn gave you the endorsement. So you should talk to the blacks, Joe. God damn it, Jill, I'm going to see a man about a dog. Y'all gonna get out here and dance because Joe got a dog? I mean, y'all dance because y'all got him elected. Y'all dance. I know. Y'all got him elected. Black people got Joe Biden elected and didn't have no agenda to get him elected on, but he said, fuck it, anybody but Trump. <laughs> now Joe's saying, anybody but blacks. That's what he's saying. Joe said the first thing he gonna do, he gonna take care of the World Health Organization. He gonna take care of Paris. He gonna take care of DACA. He gonna take care of kids separated from their parents at the border. He didn't say nothing about taking care of y'all niggas. Nothing. Nothing. Why? Because Joe ain't trying to take care of the blacks. I don't think he gonna be around in four years, so I don't even think he gonna care. So who gonna wanna take care of the blacks then? Kamala. She gonna come back pandering. Oh my goodness, it ain't even gonna be nice when Kamala comes to pandering for your vote in four years after doing nothing for you. And I hope they prove me wrong. I hope I'm wrong as two left shoes. But what, what are they giving me to stand on to believe that they're going to change? But I know what we can do is we can put the pressure on our local politicians and they can put the pressure on the federal politicians. And if you want to get voted in in four years, motherfucker, you better put pressure on the people in Washington, D.C. And if the motherfucker wants to be president again or Kamala wants to be president in four years, you better put pressure on her. We need agendas. We need policy. We need legislation. We don't need no more fucking promises, man. 
Fuck your promises. Your promises ain't doing shit for us. For pissing us off. I this person stop right in the middle of the street. Tell you, Ann Arbor's something special some days. I just say there's too many goddamn transients out here driving. That's all. You let a motherfucker get a driver's license six months after he's been in this country? When the country he came from drove on the other side of the street? You fucked up the game. We got to wait 16 years to get a driver's license. Motherfuckers can come over here and be here six months and have a driver's license. Don't even know how to drive these vehicles. It's a fucked up thing. It's a fucked up thing. But it is what it is. It's the Black Watch. I'm a black man. And I watch shit. And right now I'm watching Joe Biden ignore all these black folks after they put him in office. Flat out. Just ignoring them. He does not care. He looked at you. He lied to you. But now it's up to us to put the pressure and we can put enough pressure on him to the point where he taps out. And then Kamala has to take over. And then we put pressure on her light-skinned ass. But y'all can just sit back. Because you got anybody but Trump in. And be happy. And dance. And two-step. And hustle. And cha-cha slide. All your way to nothing. you haven't subscribed to this clip yet please do so please like it if you already subscribed share the motherfucker so somebody else can like it so somebody else can subscribe to it i think somebody told me we got 276 subscribers now hey i guess my next goal would be 300 we get 300 subscribers boy that means you're doing something you're doing more than you were when you didn't have any. Peace and love. Once again, much respect and love to my family because we lost a real one. Tease. We ain't gonna never be able to replace you. Never. We can just remember you. One love.